creative director with Viva for the center. Let us try to understand something called as ovarian hyperstimulation associated with infertility or specifically IVF treatment. It is also called as OHSS in daily parlance. So what is IVF? IVF is a procedure where stimulation or the hormones are given externally. These hormones are hormones that your brain is already producing, your pituitary is already producing for one single leg to ovulate. In IVF, we are trying to grow a lot of eggs. The concept is that more the eggs that we retrieve, the chance of a normal healthy embryo will also increase. That's because eggs are known to have chromosomal abnormalities naturally on. So when these eggs are retrieved and embryos are prepared, these embryos can be transferred back into the endometrium to achieve a pregnancy. The eggs are grown by uh, injectables which are called as gonadotropins. These gonadotropins, like I said, are naturally also produced by a pituitary located in your state. So how is OHSS a condition then? What is happening in OHSS? Now every egg resides in something called as a follicle inside the ovary. These eggs are surrounded by a number of cells around the egg. So inside the follicle lies the egg and around the egg are a lot of cells. These cells as the gonadotropins are being given as the egg is growing release something called as VEGF hormone into the bloodstream. This, this VEGF has the capacity to make blood vessels leak. The more the number of follicles, the more VGF and the more leakage of this blood vessels will occur due to which you get into something called as ovarian hyperstimulation. This is usually seen in young patients or someone with PCOS, someone who is very thin. This is a very common occurrence. What are the symptoms? The symptoms are bloating of body, uh, abdominal pain, swelling of the body, headaches. All these things are very common symptoms of OHSS. How can it be prevented? Well, to begin with, this prevention is started much before IVF is done, even planned. So depending on the OAMH, the doctor, the fertility specialist decides on how much dosage to give you. If the AMH is high, the dosage of gonadotropins which are given to grow the eggs is maintained low. This is very critical and uh, this is an important decision that your fertility specialist takes before starting the medication. But in case, if, even if the dosage was low and yet you responded more than what you should have, then the dosage can be tapered to make sure that you don't get it to OSS. This is also a very important point. Blood tests are often done uh, to assess whether you are getting into OSS. Now, not only the gonadotropins injections to grow the egg, the injections to ovulate them to make it easy to collect for IVF also are very important. These are called as FCG injections or trigger injections. These trigger injections are very critical. These trigger injections then can be reduced in dosage or the medication can be changed which does not uh, lead to OSS. Also, cabergolin is another compound which is added. Sometimes patients are also given med for med from the previous cycle so that you do not, if you are showing signs of OHSS, likelihood of OHSS, then metformin is also introduced beforehand itself so that you don't get to OHSS. So nowadays OHSS is very easily uh, controlled and managed because with the blood test, with the ultrasonography, the doctor already knows which kind of patient will, may have a tendency to get into ovarian hyperstimulation. If you wish to understand more about this or IVF, please feel free to contact us. A lot of effort has gone into making this video. Please like and subscribe us. Thank you.